Hello everyone. Welcome to another Let's Play of Stardew Valley. My name is Anna Myrtle. I am a little frustrated because I just lost my last three videos. Um, it's complicated why. Uh, not worth going into. So I'm gonna have to replay. I managed to, to back up to fall 22nd. This is new material to you. It's old material to me. <laughs> um, and hopefully, here's hoping, hopefully I'll do everything basically the way I did in my last videos because I actually did pretty well. So um, it's gonna be sunny tomorrow. The spirits are extra, extra humor. You'll have good luck. Um, fish, you can fish in autumn. So, <laughs> if we're going to have good luck, then I am going to take... our geodes out, and they're going on a little journey with us. No, but seriously, I was so upset whenever. Okay. Pumpkin soup from Robin. And we have a gold pumpkin to put in the box. And I'm taking up a couple of these fairy uh, flowers. I did learn the hard way, and I don't know that it'll help now. We may not have discovered it in time. But if you have, um, whenever the game says that growing fruit trees need to be surrounded by nothing at all, uh, the game means that. It does not like them being surrounded by a grass that's being grown for uh, to make hay. So we got to winter without my pomegranate tree blooming and I really don't know that I have uh, saved it in time. I don't think I have. But that's, that's, it is what it is. Okay, so enough about sad things in lost videos. I'm not going to dwell on that. We're just going to pretend like this is a new video. So today is the 22nd, uh, that's a Monday, and we're going to water these pumpkins. I have no idea what I was doing, but I think I can figure it out. Okay. We're going to go back to the house and drop off a couple things and hopefully, yep, there's another iron bar wanting to be iron barred. Drop off this hay. And drop off the recycling junk stuff. Okay, let's go visit our animals. Okay, so one of the fun things that happened in the um, broken game, in the lost video, is um, I, I upgraded the barn and we ran into a weird bug where 
Robin would not come and do the actual barn work. She stayed in bed instead. And I think what happened was, I think the heater in the barn that I had placed up there, I think that's where she normally goes whenever she does her, um, barn upgrades. And I think it caused the, oops, I think it caused the game to, uh, to break because it couldn't teleport her there. And so, uh, that's why I just now moved the heater. So, since we have to do that all over again, I need to look up how much wood and stone we'll need. But I sort of vaguely recall it was like all the wood and all the stone. Oh, we don't have any wood. So that's, that's going to be a problem for, for my plans. That's all right. Okay. Maybe we won't get to that planned uh, mine expedition today that I kind of had my heart set on. It's weird to suddenly have the last week of fall to do again. Okay. cutscene. That's a good boy, Dusty. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Anna, did you ever hear me talking? Yes, I heard everything. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half the time he was gone. The other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless, that I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young, bitter because he'd wasted his youth doing nothing and gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on in his mind. One day he left, and soon after that, Mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, Anna. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. Now, let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. Ha! Look at him sovereign. I think he might like steak as much as I do. So, I really like Alex. I mean, I don't like him enough to... to I don't usually pay much attention to him to be honest but so maybe like is a strong word but I like the portrayal of he he's a lot like Haley in the sense of when you first meet him he seems vapid and rude I mean, like, the first thing he says to you is something about, like, hey, new farm girl, you're looking good or something, you know? He, he says something later about your pants, you know, you're really working those pants. Um, he's... <sighs> you know, he, 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 he has the line about how it's a shame we're a girl because he would love to play catch with us. He, he's not a very considerate guy. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you he's considerate because he's not considerate. I believe we already have both of those. I think that's new. 
Not new. New. Not new. Okay, we got some. And we're gonna have him upgrade our hoe. Um, but he actually has this, you know, um, A backstory of this father that left and trying to, to cope with all that and it hasn't been easy I'm sure to to, to, to cope with that and and so I I feel a lot of sympathy for him I'll put it that way what do you think you're doing that's private property oh uh, uh, I'm sorry sir The youth these days. Sometimes I wonder if this town isn't doomed. You saw what happened, Anna. What do you have to say about this? So we can say, you're right, sir. Sam should respect private property or don't blame Sam. There's nowhere else for him to ride. If you say I'm staying out of this, they both get frustrated with you. Don't blame Sam. There's no one else for him to ride. Exactly. If there was a park in town, I could ride there and everyone would be happy. Huh. I thought you were more mature than this, Anna. Sam, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Just please try not to damage anything in the future. Got it? Yes, sir. Did you see that trick, though? That was rad. Okay. I have a lot of sympathy for Sam, too. I have a lot of sympathy for all of them. None of them have just easy peasy, lemon squeezy lives. Okay, you go there. And you go there. And that's something. I am so frustrated because I got several artifacts in the time. Um, in the three videos that I that I took that I did, but um, we'll just have to get them back the old-fashioned way. That is fine. I I even used a file recovery program for which I'd never used before um, to try to get them back, and they were unrecoverable. So that was kind of weird. I've got to be more careful with where my Fraps videos are stored, I guess. I have to keep them deleted pretty regularly because the Fraps videos themselves, the raw videos, are just huge. I don't have the space for them, so I guess this is one of those times where I'm like, if you want to donate to my PayPal for more disk space. <laughs> oh, and there's some worms and there's some other worms and we can't dig them up because our hoe is in the shop. Matter of fact, I got much better worm digging results after I upgraded my hoe. I wonder if the quality of your hoe has anything to do with the quality results of the, uh... Now there's an interesting thought. I wouldn't have thought the two would be related, but I honestly... I, I don't know. We're just giving out sashimi left and right. Let's give some to the mayor too. He probably feels bad that we took Sam's side. That's our apology. You'd be like, I'm sorry I couldn't say anything because he has such a sad little baby face. previous video that the 
Stardew Valley Field Guide. Notes that you can buy uh, dating bouquets for everyone in town. And there's even a cute little comic of Pierre being like, oh, okay, that'll be however much the bouquet costs times 12 if you got one for each of the bachelors and bachelorettes or six bachelors and six bachelorettes. What I didn't know was they added a cut scene that I, I don't think I like. They added two cut scenes. If you date all the girls and or if you date all the guys, there is a, a cut scene where they get together, the guys meet in the saloon, and the girls meet in Haley and Emily's house, and they compare notes and find out what you've done, and then they all break up with you as a group. And you don't really get a chance to talk to them about this, or... And I don't know how I feel about that, because... I I am polyamorous and I've never really liked the presumption that dating should mean that that's the only person you're seeing. Like okay, if you want to date that way, but but that shouldn't be just assumed. You have to talk about that. And of course in a game like this, you aren't really given the option to to have a conversation about that. But it's like, if you wanted me to be exclusive, then we needed to have that discussion, not just... They, they get together and chew you out and call you a cat and all break up with you at once. They're very angry. And it's like... I don't know. It just feels like... I really actually liked how, depending on how you wanted to play the game, they could all be queer, or if you wanted to pretend they were straight, you could pretend they were straight. It was really up to whether you chose to deepen that romance with them. And, um... But you can't pretend... You can't pretend that any of them are okay with polyamory, because... They're definitely totally not. All of them. All of them think it's bad. Even my dear sweet Elliot. And I just, that feels so out of character for him as I imagine him, but I'm, I'm not the creator. So anyway, I got to see that. Looked it up on YouTube. Um, let's eat this. Cool, we got a bomb. Whoa, what was that? And we got two geodes, uh, or omni geodes, which is very much appreciated. Omni geodes are really lovely. They're the best kind of geode because you can get anything from them in terms of when you open them up that they're full of potential. There are um, a regular boring old regular diode um, 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 a regular boring old regular geode will not be able to give you every kind of gem there is. There's some rare gems that can only be got with um, with the higher up level geodes. And the Omni geode is the highest level geode because you can get anything with it. Come on stairs, don't fail me now. Where are you? 
these spirits were supposed to be in a good mood. There's so many rocks. I have to think that the more I think about it, the chance of stairs appearing has to increase as you run out of rocks because eventually you'd be stuck there if it didn't. But, um... It's going to be one of those spiral ones, and you've got to have more time to do the spiral ones. I mean, it's going to take us, you know, an hour to get home, just, just to get home. <sighs> Shame, I would have liked to do the spiral on a high luck day. Might have gotten more Omni Geodes, but we'll get more in the future. There's always tomorrow. I need to back fill my my sh my notes on the uh, the bundles because okay there we go Thank heaven for control Z. Okay. And we did not get to cut down any trees today. Which is a shame because I kind of needed to cut down trees. store in the fridge are um, available for cooking. You don't have to pull them out of the fridge to cook them. Which is not true for the chest. So if I want to cook fish or whatever, I, I can't. I have to pull it out of the chest. I can't just rely on it knowing that I have those in chests. The downside to that is you can't see from your recipes what you can and can't cook. It's deceptive because there'll be a lot of things that you can't cook. You totally have those ingredients, they're just in a chest. Um, and unfortunately you can't just store everything in the fridge because the fridge is not a bottomless pit. So if I repeat myself at any point, I, I apologize, it's because I'm... The spirits are in good humor, you'll have a little extra luck. I uh, don't 
know if the things I'm saying are things that I said in the lost videos. <laughs> Thanks for visiting Piers. Encloses your cash back rewards program. Speaking of Piers, I would actually like to visit Piers. And it's about time to start thinking about upgrading our knapsack. silver star food and we do not need to keep more than about 50 cranberries they're good food but they don't need to be we don't need to be carrying around 100 with us at all times not when we've got berries to give out the uh, blackberries I mean and sashimi Which reminds me, I need to pull some flowers out of storage. Emily and Evelyn do not like sashimi. And they aren't super huge berry fans either. So I'm torn because I really do want to chop down some trees so we can be working on our upgrades for the buildings. But on the other hand, when the lady on the television says you'll be lucky today, it really is so much better to visit the mines because you want those Omni Geos that randomly drop. Very torn on that in that regard. I need to close the fences so that this can't happen. Oh, I haven't even made a cheese maker. Oh man, that is how far behind I am. Have I even sold milk? I don't think I have. <laughs> wow, no, no, I have never sold milk before. Well, that is something. Okay. Um. Well, that kind of settles it. We need to. We need to get. We need to get going on that. Oh man, I 
miss so much. This is like going back in time. Okay. <laughs> when we like, have we met Leah? Is that a thing that we've done? <laughs> I know we have done some things. So something that I care about, uh, and one of the big reasons why I'm doing this today instead of mine uh, hopping, is if I want the trees to have a chance of growing back this year, I kind of have to cut them down now. There's, there's not a whole lot of time left because the trees take time to grow back and they don't grow in winter. So, if I cut it down four days from now, they definitely won't have time to grow up before winter comes, and that'll be the last tree harvest of the year. If we cut these down really early and burn the midnight oil and do them all today, there is a chance that some of them will grow back. I, I'm not sure. It may still be too late. We will find out. I may or may not need to sing show tunes to pass the time. A train is passing through Stardew Valley. Well, I wonder if that's a scripted event because that happened in the previous video. Out around this time, one of the previous videos. We're gonna have to eat some of our precious sushi. Which I may be saying wrong. Hazards of, of vocabulary that has mostly been read rather than spoken aloud, I'm afraid. I love how beautiful the tree colors are. They're just stunning in the fall. I always kind of really struggle to get through winter and it, it's, I think in some ways the winter is so realistic that it kind of triggers my seasonal affective depression. Which might be another reason why I have a hard time getting past year one. Winter really just it becomes a slog. I'm hoping that, you know, us together playing this, it won't be quite the slog that it is when it's all on my own. And it's, it's not like there's not stuff to do, it just, there's a loneliness to it. I feel alone. And I, I think, like I said, I, I think it's just so realistically winter that it messes with my seasonal affective disorder stuff.
fix it. I just don't think we're gonna be able to get them all today. It was a valiant effort. I should have been doing it all, all autumn. The funny thing about uh, chopping down trees in cinder snap is that there is uh, occasionally scripted events that happen in cinder snap, which um, rely on. He's in the bar. Which rely on those trees being there. So I've totally seen woodpeckers hanging in midair, clinging in midair to a tree that isn't there, uh, pecking away at empty air. It's kind of hilarious. All right, Shane. You and I are going to have a very good old time. Life isn't so bad. At least I have frozen pizza. Honestly, that's kind of where I am these days. Could be worse. Could be. Could not have frozen pizza. <laughs> try. We d I just barely managed to make that quest last time. We will try. First and foremost, put the fried egg in there too. The fried egg is for one of the bundles. Okay. A cheese press requires 45 stone, hardwood, and a copper bar. Stick it in the uh, barn tomorrow. Could not think of the word. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sleep. Day three. Look at all that. Those cranberries are just. It's a culture shock, though, when you go from fall to winter, because you aren't making that kind of money every day. <laughs> uh, not even close. So... You have to learn to pace yourself a little bit. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. Thank you, Evelyn. That reminds me. I need to... Oops, that's not where it goes. I need to get you and... Emily some flowers. What do you guys like? Oh, Evelyn likes cranberries, so Emily can have the daffodils and Evelyn can have the cranberries. That works. 
Okay. That's what I want. Hey, baby kitty. I do wonder if the pomegranate will grow to fruition at this time. I really hope so. Because we had several days with the apple tree. And I really just need... Like one from the pomegranate. The enchanter's bundle, the wizard's bundle, requires one pomegranate. And if you don't get one from the traveling caravan, which is entirely luck-based, then you're basically screwed if you don't get a pomegranate in the first fall. You'll have to get one in the second fall. You'll just have to wait that long before you can complete the community center. And uh, it sucks because pomegranate is not really the first thing on your mind whenever you're going into fall from the summer season. Like, it's a $6,000 seed and it takes 28 days to grow? Like... That's wild! It's just not something, at least on my first playthrough, that I was prioritizing at all. Okay, hi guys. is at the market. Although I don't know that it matters because yeah, we're up we're, we're full up on presents for him, so it's not like we can go give him another one. What we can and will do is today is George's birthday. So we are gonna go grab a leak from our Inventory. We're gonna go take it to George. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. You are the best baby in the world. Yes, you are. Oh, we have another cutscene. Oh, okay, guys. Do you remember your lines? Yes. Ready? Action. I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. I, uh, uh. Cut. I'm sorry. It's so hard to remember my lines when your face is right there in front of me like that. Oh, hey. Check out my new camera. Jojico is having a video advertisement competition. The prize is 10,000 gold. Hey, I want you to be in the shot, okay? 
Just walk by Clint and Emily in the background while they're talking. It'll give the scene a little more authenticity. Okay, ready? Action! I thought we had something special. You said you wouldn't leave me for anything. I guess that was a lie. No, it's not like that. This is just something I have to do. It's very important to me. I've just got to try new Joja Blue Cola. It's got three times the sorbital for a thick, sweet blast. And it's cheaper than water. But isn't soda unhealthy? You promised me. Have no fear, my dear. The World Cross Science Team at Joja Headquarters have determined that Joja Blue does not cause a significant erosion of the stomach lining, so you can drink it whenever you want, as much as you like. The real question is, when will you turn blue? Ah. Cut! That was perfect. Thanks for the help. Clint? He turned blue. <laughs> so it's possible that there are some side effects to Joja Cola Blue. I'm afraid we may not get that $10,000. Haley wants a super cucumber, which is not going to happen. Hey, can I ask you something? What do you think about my haircut? It looks very fashionable. Yeah, I know. That's why I wear it like this. Oh, child. How'd you know I was hungry? That looks delicious. Oh, I don't like this cutscene. I don't like it. Okay, George, I want you to take a deep breath for me. Okay, turn around, please. George, I'll be honest with you. You need to make some changes in your lifestyle if you want to stay healthy. I'd like you to reduce your sodium intake and try to get some moderate exercise with your arms. <clears throat> I know what's best for me. Who do you think you are telling me how to live my life? I'm your doctor, George. That's who I am. And I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help people stay healthy. Oh, you can't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. Not so fast. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young lady. Very well. So you can say George should follow Dr. Harvey's advice or George knows what's best for his own body. This is what I would normally prefer, but neither of them come away happy with you. So fine, George should follow Dr. Harvey's advice. Thanks, Anna. You see, George, I'm just trying to help you. Fine, I'll do what you say, doctor. Thanks for your help, Anna. I appreciate it. And look, I am not trying to disparage doctors, but the whole I went to medical school for eight years so I know better than you thing. As somebody who has lived with chronic pain and has had terrible advice from doctors, no, fuck that. I'm sorry. Ugh, I just can't reach it. If only I could get up from this infernal chair. Thanks, miss. <sighs> it happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We were near the end of our shift, but there was one last scene that needed to be broken up. I went in there aiming to set off a stick of dynamite, but my foot slipped into a crack and I dropped it. The dynamite exploded on impact. The next thing I remember, I was laying in the hospital, and they told me I'd never walk again. So, there you have it. You probably figured I was just too old to walk. Well, I'll have you know that I'd be sprier than a spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident. You've been real nice to me, miss. I appreciate it. When you're old, you start to forget that anyone cares about you. I don't know how I feel about George hating his wheelchair. Because, I mean... I'm not going to sit here and tell you that there's never been a disabled person who hated their assistive living devices, but 
Yeah, that's kind of a annoying, bad-ish trope that that people in wheelchairs are are confined to their wheelchairs or trapped in their wheelchairs. When really the wheelchair is what lets us move around. It's it's not always, but a lot of us tend to be actually pretty grateful that we have a wheelchair and can move around that way. So it's kind of an irritating trope for a lot of reasons. But, you know, again, there's not... The best way really to solve this problem is to just have diff more than one disabled people, more than one wheelchair user in your work, and one of them can like their wheelchair and one of them cannot like their wheelchair, and then you have different sides of the available coins there. But... And I, I shouldn't... I say, yes, I'm... I do not use a wheelchair yet. I do use assistive scooters. Um, and I, I have had to use wheelchairs in specific situations. So I guess it's kind of... I shouldn't say I don't use a wheelchair. I don't use one daily. I use one when I travel, basically. Which is not the same thing as needing one every day. Small magnet ring. We don't need one of those, but the thought it's the thought that counts. Um, okay, we still we've done the five thousand bundle. Chef's bundle, we'll give him his fried egg. And that's all we have for now. <clears throat> we do have a quest to try to kill all the uh, eight frozen slimes in the mines, which I feel like we should be able to do. We'll just have to get a get a jiggle on. Oh, grand! We're getting all the cutscenes at once. Hi, Anna. I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. Have you ever made anything out of wood, Anna? Then this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you. I think we've become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Let me show you the blueprints. Now you know how to craft a flute block and a drum block. These are like tiles that when you walk on they make a sound. Which, you know, okay, cool. All right, you need to please upgrade my barn. Barn? Yeah, upgrade my barn, please. Okay, I'll start working first thing, etc. Meru gets a sashimi. She likes seafood, just like her brother. And Sebastian is not... Is he having his smoke break? Yes, he is. Excellent. Oh, that means we haven't had the... You guys haven't seen the Sebastian cutscenes. They're cute. I really love this. How did you know? What time is it? I think I slept too much last night. I like Sebastian. I do. He's not easy for me to woo because... He's always in his bedroom, but... Alright, let's kill some slimes. There's one. We need to kill eight. Which is kind of a lot. That's one.
left here. I was hoping there would be more slimes down here. Okay, where is the exit? Come on, come on, give me some stairs. Oh no, we're not going to be able to make it. This will be three. There's some stairs. Give me some more slimes. Three, four. Okay, phew, that was tense. Um, I don't need this spawn I can bring, I really don't. Let's eat that grape. Okay. I hate to leave when we really could have made that swirly area. Uh, we had plenty of time before, before the night ends, but I would like to get our reward from Lewis, and there is a time limit on that. A much shorter one. We've got to get back to his house before his house closes. You have just velvet ears, don't you, baby? How are your ears so soft? Explain that to me. Riddle me that. You can't, can you? Alright, Lewis is in his house. Anna, so you helped us with our slime problem. Thank you. I hope you didn't go to too much trouble. I know that can be really hard to get sticky slime out of your clothes. I've definitely ruined a few good pairs of pants trying to catch those little squirmers. I can remember Mama throwing a fit after I got sky blue swine all over my brand new twill pants. Well, anyways, enjoy your reward. Okay. I believe I shall. And foremost, we'll put our weapon away, our slime, our bat wings. I think that's all of that. Second, we'll put away our 
Iron Ore, or Jade, or Aquamarine, or Frozen Jude, and so on and so forth. Um, before nightfall, before bedtime, and we have a whole cinder snap forest to burn to the ground. Mm -hmm. In a loving, profitable way, of course. Okay, so it takes about 30 minutes to get back. We need to start getting back about 1 o'clock. I passed up the perfectly good trees on our farm because once those are cut down, they're cut down. There's no sense, they don't, they don't grow back. Unless I, I guess, replant the seeds right away. But, uh, the leaves will grow back. The ones on our farm I will cut down at our leisure, you know, when the winter arrives. But right now it's important to get these because they're a renewable resource. And you want them to get started on renewing. If that makes sense. Humans are amazing creatures, aren't they? I'm min maxing cutting down trees in a video game. I love doing Let's Plays, though. I love you guys being here for the Let's Plays. It means, like, so much to me. I really like that. I've been thinking about all the other things I'd like to Let's Play. If I, if I could, if I physically could sit here in my chair and Let's Play all day long, I totally would. It's the physical limitations that... You know, it's when my back starts killing me or I can't feel my legs anymore. It's like, okay, I have to stop. But like, Stardew Valley, I want to do a Darkest Dungeons Let's Play. Someone suggested that. Although I don't know how much you'll find my Darkest Dungeons Let's Play interesting because I kind of play like a wimp. Alright, that was a good lumber haul. How much do we have? 485. And keep in mind, that's after spending like 450 today on the barn. It is getting late, I see that game. I'm waiting for all of these to catch up with each other because I prefer to harvest them at the same time. Ugh, I need to get my fish. I tend to get lazy with the fish and not harvest them because it's kind of a pain to have to immediately take them back and sort through the trash. I should put the recycling bins in there in like a chest so that I, I don't have to haul it back to the house every time because it is a pain and a waste of time. But uh, I mean it's, it's good important stuff. I mean you've seen me throwing sashimi around left and right like it's a sashimi party. And it's the absolutely only source of cloth that we have right now. There will be other sources later, in case you're wondering. Okay, sleep for the night. And that is day 24 and George's birthday. So with that, we will sign off. I'm going to triple back up this video. Um, so I exit the title. I will see you in the next Let's Play. Once again, this has been Stardew Valley. My name is Anna Mardell, and thank you so much for being here with me. Bye-bye.